Bhagavan. Okay. So, I'm back on this topic. I hope this is the last time I'm doing a video about this. But I was listening to some YouTubers, you know, doing videos about this whole YouTube taking down channels and stuff like that. Apparently they took down, what, 10 more channels? Uh, I was listening to, is it in Infinity Wars or something like that? One of those guys, I forget. I was listening to a bunch of channels. I forget which one it was. More people's channels were taken down. So, one of the last channels I was listening to was a channel, this guy, um, Superboy Harvey. Uh, seems like a cool guy. I mean, I've disagreed with him on some of his points. Uh, I agree with most of the things he talks about, you know. But... Him among other people, I was the, his video was the last one I listened to, and I was like, "Listen, this, this is ridiculous." Now, I'm not taking shots at anyone, but you know, I'm from the islands. I like to point that out, you know, because um, you know, before people called me an outsider, uh, I'll label myself as an outsider. I'm from the islands, you know, and some people talk about guys from the islands or people from the islands or raccoons or whatever. You know, we're outsiders. So before anyone can shame me or try to shame me saying, hey, what you say is not valid or we don't care what you say because you're an outsider. I'm, I'm just saying it first. Yeah, I know I'm an outsider. But what I say holds water because I'm smart. Now, from being from the islands, you know, means I wasn't born here in America, which means I had to travel to come here, right? And I've traveled to different places, and it's important to travel because when you travel, you know, you see the world outside of the lens of your country or your culture, you know? With my and other people you know, coming to America or going to Canada or wherever, you have to get what is called a visa, a visitor's visa. Now, there are requirements to get this visitor's visa, right? If you don't meet the requirements, you won't get the visa. You know why you won't get that visa? Because that visa is a privilege. It's not a right that you must get it. Let, let me repeat. The reason why you won't get the visa if you don't meet the requirements is because the visa is a privilege. It's not a right. And let's say you do get that visa, but you got a one-year visa, a five-year visa, or a ten-year visa. Once that visa expires, you have to apply for a new one, which is called renewing your visa. Now, you might not get that visa back. You know why you might not get that visa back, even though you had it for 10 years or 5 years or 1 year? That is because having that visa or getting that visa back is a privilege. It's not a right. Kevin, what are you talking about? Google got rid of some people from YouTube. I keep telling you guys, being on YouTube which is Google's platform, which is white people's platform, it is a privilege. It's not a right. They can kick you off when they want to. They don't have to explain anything to you. Now, it's sad that they took down some people's channels. I'm not advocating for it, really, but I understand. And being that I come from the islands where things aren't handed to us, we are not a group of people who understand entitlement. We don't get taxes back at the end of the year. We're not entitled to that. We're not entitled to government set-asides. And all these privileges, you know, are what people will say are rights in America. 
So because of that, we understand certain things, which is why people make fun of Jamaicans for having two or three jobs. And the reason why a lot of Jamaicans have two or three, two, three jobs or more is because they understand privilege. And they've gotten a privilege. And they're riding that privilege until they can get all that they need out of that privilege because we understand it. Now, what I find with most Americans is not just black Americans, it's Americans as a whole. They think sh things should be given and handed down to them. It's not all of them, but it's most of them. And they think that America owes them something and people owe them things. Google doesn't owe you anything. Google didn't come knocking on your door asking you or begging you to come and make a channel. You decided to make your channel on these people's platforms, man. So if they kick you off because they want to silence you or they don't want you to have a voice or an opinion, that's their business. It's their platform. They don't have to care about your voice or your opinions. They can kick me off. They got rid of my, my first channel. Was I, was I disappointed? I was, but I wasn't upset. Because I understood that I was on somebody else's platform and it's a privilege to be there. I don't have a right. My first channel, I did a video about Meghan Markle and I got like over 12, 13,000 views. That's the most views I've ever gotten. And it was taken down right after I did that video. So I, I don't know if it was because of the Meghan Markle video that I did showing that Meghan Markle is not black because her father is white. And I proved that using the Bible, my video was taken down. I don't know if it was flagged down or I don't know, but it was taken down. I didn't have a hissy fit. I didn't complain about, they don't want to hear my opinion. They don't want us to have a voice. Listen, people. You are at war. Black folks have always been at war with white folks and vice versa or non-black non people. Do you think that your alleged enemy or perceived enemy is going to give you a weapon to match up with theirs so you can be a challenge to them? Come on, man. A lot of the people I hear complaining are people who were in the army, which is why I mentioned Superboy earlier in the video. I'm not taking shots at him, but... He was in the army. He brags about being in the army all the time. He talks about being in Iraq or Afghanistan or wherever he was. You know? So if you're in the army and you're, 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 you're on the battlefield, do these Arabs come up to you? If you let's say the, the American you know, troops have bigger guns. Do these Arabs run up to you and say, Hey, you know, Mr. American soldier, your guns are bigger than ours. Can you give us some of the weapons that you have so we can be much of a challenge to you and fight against you? What would you say as American soldiers if an Arab soldier or Bin Laden or one of these guys came up to you and said that? You would think he's nuts, right? That's what you're doing to white folks and Google. Please, can you let us in Hollywood? Please, can you let us stay on your platforms so we can talk about white supremacy and so we can talk about this and that? You are at war with a group of people. The people you are at war with are the people who own the platform you're talking bad about them on. So do you really think that these people, do you really think that these people who you're at war against is going to give you more weapons to speak badly about them. I, I'm, it, we, I'm, people cannot be this dumb. People cannot be this dumb. That's why you need to build your own shit. Do you know what China did? Now there's a trade war with China and America. Right? China was once a third world country. Right? looked down upon, you know, people didn't respect them. They didn't run around begging to be put on. They didn't run around begging to be put on anybody's platforms. They didn't run around begging anybody to respect them. 
begging anybody for no kumbaya. They didn't run around asking to be accepted. You know what China did? They got down dirty and they put their hands to the wheel and they did work and they built. Now China is a first world country and they have nukes. So now nobody can talk to them because they, now they can have a seat at the table because they put themselves there by building and doing their own shit. Now America can't bully them no more because now China has nukes. But now black people, we have to beg, beg these people to let us stay on their platforms. That only shows that black folks are weak. Weak. Now you're saying that these people are your enemies. And white folks this and white folks that and white supremacy and they're racist and blah, 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 blah. To get your own shit. Where in the world? Where do they do that at? Where, where have you seen the Bloods and Crips at war? And the Crips are running to the Bloods and saying, hey, you know... Um, can we have a piece of this block here, so, you know, so we can make some money to selling some drugs? No, you know what they do? They fight for that block. You know, um, Mr. Bloods, you know, we're the Crips, and we notice that you have bigger guns than we do. Can you loan us some of your guns so we can fire back some bullets at you? This is what you're doing when you're complaining and whining about Google. Hey, Mr. Google, can you, can you let us stay on your platform so we can talk about white supremacy and talk how bad you are, you know, and how you hate black people? Now, I'm not picking up for white folks, but I'm just looking at this from a, a logical standpoint. You sound stupid, man. You guys sound pathetic. Black Junction TV is there. Black Avenger TV, support these black platforms. You make it pop in and make it big. But you guys don't want to go there. Why? Because YouTube is where it's at. I have videos on YouTube. I have videos on Black Junction TV. Yes, I do. I do more videos on YouTube than Black Junction TV because Black Junction TV servers, based on what I've experienced, sometimes there's a little glitch and some of my content is too big for the platform. But I, I didn't discard it. And all of this is coming from uh, a sense of entitlement where you think things should be handed to you. Now we're hearing about class action lawsuit and all this type of stuff because they're, they're allow YouTube and Facebook are allowing you know, white, you know, racist people to be on there. They're supposed to do that. What are you talking, it's their own people. White folks are supposed to support their own. What are you talking about? You're in a war. They're in a war against you. Why would they support you and turn on their own? Does that make any sense? If you're on the battlefield in Iraq, do you expect one of your soldiers to go help Bin Laden and, and Saddam Hussein and these guys? No. Do you expect to turn against your fellow American soldier to help one of these Arabs that you're fighting against over there? No. So why do you think Facebook and Google and YouTube are not going to support their people? What is wrong with black people? They don't want to do their own thing they want this whole kumbaya ambience where everybody should love everybody. Build your own, man. It can be done. Other people are doing it. Other people are doing it. China did it. Singapore did it. Singapore went to Jamaica in the 80s and they looked at the model of the Jamaica's economy. That was when Jamaica's economy was good. And they went over to Singapore, back over to their country, and turned their country into a first world country. Black people in America and the Caribbean, I'm talking to you people. Just stop the foolishness. Stop begging to be on people's platforms. There's so many black people in America and the Caribbean. All of you people can come together and build a platform and make it pop. We made dancehall music pop. We made hip-hop music pop. We made R&B music pop. 
They're making battle rap pop right now. So why the hell can't we make, you know, a, a live streaming platform pop? Just stop the nonsense. White people are supposed to support each other. Chinese people are supposed to support each other. We're the ones always running, trying to get into other people's goddamn, you know, platforms and partake in their resources. Like, oh, 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 come on, man. Come on. It's not making any sense. So when now you're trying to have a, a, a class action lawsuit against Google and this type of thing, it, it's, 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 it's synonymous to gay people trying to force business owners to hire them. You're trying to take away their preferences. Feminists trying to, you know, trying to, 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 to twist the arms of employers' hands behind their back. To hire feminists or hire women or to do what they say. So it's like I build, let's say I build a bakery or I don't know, I have a, I have a tech company. And then you, you come into my place that I built from the bottom up, from the ground up, and you're trying to dictate to me what I should do and who I should allow. And what are you talking about? Google paid for YouTube. They didn't build YouTube, but they paid for it. They own it now. You can't tell them what to do. If they don't want you on their platforms, they can kick you off. They have a right to silence you because you're speaking against them. This is war. Where in the hell do you see two opposing teams shooting at each other and, 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 one, and one, one, one team or one, one, one army is allowing the other army to shoot at them at will, to fire shots at them at will? W weren't you guys in the army? You should know this. You should know this. There's no way you're going to be in Iraq or Syria or wherever where there's war and you're just going to allow you know, your enemies to shoot at you. So why you expect white people to sit and allow you to shoot at them on their own platform? Would you allow somebody to shoot at you with your own gun? With your own gun? Is it that I'm an intelligent guy? Or some of you people are just too stupid? I'm, I'm just not understanding. I mean, this is simple ABC. It's simple one, two, three. They're supposed to silence you. You're saying you're, you're talking stuff about them. They're supposed to silence you and stop you from communicating with each other. If you're on the battlefield, okay, are you going to allow your enemies to communicate with each other and strengthen each other so they can, they can give each other heads up about where your platoon is, and if you're flanking them and stuff like that. What are you talking about? Harvey Superboy talks a lot about bringing in the military and, and the veterans and stuff like that. Okay, so let's say you bring in the veterans to get, to get rid of the criminal elements, right? Which, which that's fine by me. I understand. I, I get what he, where he's coming from. You know, it might be needed. But let's say you were given the go-ahead to do that. You and your veteran guys go do that, right? So when you get into Chicago, are you going to stand there and allow these criminal elements to communicate with each other? So, so guy from block A can tell guy from block C, hey, the veterans are coming around that side, they're driving a black van, yada, 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 you know, they have this type of weapon. You know, would you want them to share intel with each other to stay a, st a step ahead of you so you can't catch them? No, you're not going to want that you are going to want to destroy their means of communication. Which is why when you watch war movies, they're always trying to destroy each other's satellites and stuff like that. So why do you think YouTube or Google is going to want you to be on, on their platform communicating with each other? It's common sense, man. They don't want you there, they just don't want you there. If America takes away my green card and send me home, I can't cry. Because my green card is a privilege. It's not a right. When I go to the DMV to renew my driver's license, I don't have to get it back. Because it's a privilege. It's not a right. 
Being on YouTube is a privilege. It is not a right. It is not a right. It is not a right. It, they don't owe you shit. The hell is wrong with these people? People can't be that dumb, man. What it is is that you're showing your weakness. All of you. Because you don't want to come together and build your own. That's why David Carroll says you can't fool him. Because you love white folks. Mr. Charlie's T or is, is Isis Cole or something like that he was saying. You love white folks. You act like you don't. I'm out, Joe. Peace.